In this video with the help of Hanyuan 3D model, we will generate assets like this and not only this, we will import them in Blender and I'll show you how you can process them in Blender too with the help of just AI. But the past years, the 3D content game has been completely flipped on AI power generative models. But here's some catch that we need to talk about. Even though it's free and open source, the license does not extend to everyone. Territories like the European Union, United Kingdom, and South Korea fall outside its umbrella. So if you're in one of these regions, make sure to check out the details before driving in. Oh, and another big feature is they've got dropped a Blender plugin that lets you generate 3D models straight inside the Blender. We'll talk about this in the later video. Ama. It and you're watching skill curve all right this is the main interface of cinex ai if you don't know about cinex ai so let me so let me explain you a little bit about it first so it's like hugging face you can run the same models on the cloud but hugging face sometimes takes a lot of time gpu allocation and if you're on the free model it may take a lot of time so you can go cinex ai just simply log in and just choose the hanyan 3d model and the version 2 as we can see now now let me explain you each step and walk through you First of all, this is the penguin thing. The penguin thing is here you can upload your image and convert it into the 3D model. While this is not sufficient, you can also give it a back view, left view, right view of your image of your model to make it look much better. Not only this option, we have option here where you can just text prompt your model and it will convert it into a 3D asset. If you use this option of checkbox remove PG, this will remove the background and while all the options I would recommend you to stay same cause messing with these options if you don't know much about these settings can improve or maybe decrease the quality of your model so make sure you all have the same settings applied the step should be 5, the octree resolution should be 256 and the guidance scale should be 5.5 and seed should be 1234 so seed helps you to make a consistent design of your model while the below thing there are some just pricing details well which is not relevant for now now let's just upload your image and see how it goes uh, let me explain uh, let me upload this boys image i downloaded from google so for a demonstration purpose you all can you can always have your own design or art if you want to make 3d model of your own original art i downloaded this with a white background since white background is easy to remove so i would choose this guy and the image has been uploaded successfully now what you need to do is just go a little bit blow and you can see reset and run option reset would help you to reset all the settings but run would help you to generate a 3d model just simply click on run and wait and watch now it started generating the model let me tell you cinexa ai is pretty fast so you don't need to wait a lot of time okay as I was talking, then the model has been generated and you can see now this model is absolutely incredible. Like every detail, every design you can see right now. We can even zoom it and zoom out. But wait, let me zoom out a little bit and explain you the details. See, the front which we have uploaded is very much similar as we wanted from the cheeks to the nose to the hair design. However, we haven't uploaded backside image. So it assumed that it would look like this which is absolutely good if we have uploaded a backside i'm sure it would look the same as we always wanted but look at the hair it's pretty it's very same as we expected the curly wavy hair side on the back side you can see the shoes and everything is looking so so pretty so now you have an idea how this entire model is cool you can even download this simply click on download button and now you can see the GLB file has been downloaded. Don't worry, I'll explain you what this GLB file do. So the GLB file will be used in our Blender software where we can use it, enhance it and use it in our animation. Let's upload something else. For example, I have this uh, remote controller of a PS5 or a gaming console. Just upload it and see how it goes. All right, now just simply click on generate button and see what's going on. And here we go again the model is ready okay i cannot really believe my eyes it's so accurate i have never imagined that, that such ai models would be make our work this easier however one thing i would say is it's looking very neat very clean and i think we can or anybody can use these assets in their projects and make it just better like imagine there was a time when we used to you know uh, manually make everything from donor to all the stuff now all you need to do is just click the pics of your design upload it and that's it you don't need to do anything else but wait 
what if we don't have a design what if we, we don't have any design or imagine what we just want to uh, just prompt it and generate it okay we have something here Cinexa also has a caption option and let's see what it's telling you so the Hanyon 3d model is pretty accurate trained on very big data sets so I think we can prompt not deeply even a basic prompt can help it like for example generate a lawyer okay this is this is very basic prompt generate a lawyer but this is a test that how trained this model is just simply click on run button and make sure it generates and guys here we go again we generated loin successfully this is a loin sitting uh, maybe on a grass we can use this loin as an asset and to be really honest i'm really impressed by just the design the everything it has it's 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 kind of insane all right i've downloaded some other images too and let's test it out how hanyon 3d reacts so let's first talk about this monster I have just downloaded from Google and let's see how this monster looks when we just convert it into the 3D model. It's so fun actually. Okay, now it started generating the entire model. The best thing I've still noticed uh, comparing to Hugging Face that this is smooth. This is really smooth. Okay, now the model has been generated. Aha! Uh -huh. We can say it's not that effective as we expected. The thing is, we don't see any uh, eyes or something like uh, the teeth, but the mesh is still very structural. Let's upload something else. So we have this image of frog and see how it goes. We have uploaded the image of frog, simply click on the run button and let's see what's going on. Okay, the 3D structure of frog has been generated. Oh. Okay. I'm really really impressed I'm not lying I'm really impressed can you imagine the, the, the details of these feet can you see this the details of the feet this is insanely detailed like I don't expect anything else after this like this is you know the benchmark that you can decide now that you want to use this model or not like I cannot believe open source model like this which is free to use can be this good well we won't stop here we have other things to test out okay have we have another thing we have downloaded this cartoon girl and let's see how this looks okay meanwhile it's generating I want to talk about something like what I've noticed is if there is something that is embedded in the character it will look better on the generating model if there's something like you can see this the eyes and mouth were not embedded so it just generated a plain surface plain mesh of the character okay there's also this option of shape only if we just remove shape only option and then we generate it then we can always get the texture okay, so now we have generated a texture too so texture generation takes little time more than on the shape one Now let's talk about the remanaging in Blender. Open the Blender and head up to the Objects Data Properties. With your object selected, scroll down to the Remesh option, and you have got the both. Now you have got both voxel and quad remesing at your disposal. Switching to quad flow remesh might not feel always good. Instead, try catching with the voxel remesher and set it to 0.1 and hit the voxel remesh. And that's it. This should work fine. For even finer details, dial it down to 0.1 and the voxel remesher will do its thing. Now, but beware switching back to the quad remesing might not yield the expected result until you first merge by distance in the edit mode. Once you merge, you can switch back to the quad remesing and voila, you've got a clean mess ready for sculpting. And keep in mind though that you might lose a bit of detail compared to ZBrush native remeshing. Now speaking of Blender, here's another hot update. Uh, the brand new Blender add-on just has been announced. This add-on integrates directly within the Helion 3D V2 API, letting you generate 3D models using text to image. Right inside the Blender, it mirrors the parameters you see on Hugging Face, giving you the same power and flexibility. Whether you want to download the Delight or the Paint or whatever the DITY model, all the pre-trained models are available. If you like this video, just simply click on like button, share it, and for more such cutting-edge tutorial latest technologies videos every day just subscribe the channel